go. Hey guys, it's Physio Katie. And Physio Nick. Um, so we're here at Ocean Kids and what we want to run through today is how you can test for joint hypermobility at home. Um, so the score that we're going to use, or the scale um, also, is called the Baton. So the Baton Index is a score that you can give out of nine, um, with a score of nine being more hypermobile joints and a score of zero being no hypermobile joints. Um, so Nick and I both have different degrees of flexibility, so we thought it would be interesting to test this on each other so that we can show you what hypermobility is um, and what it isn't. What, what, and what it isn't. <laughs> okay. All right, so we'll get started. So it's a score out of nine, so we, I'm going to give Nick a point for each of his joints that's hypermobile, so we'll talk through each one. Um, the first thing we're going to test is hands, okay? So there's one part of the hand we're going to test. So I'd say to my, my person I'm testing at home, well, Nick, what we're going to try and do, I want to see if we can get this little, little finger up to a right angle, so this measurement here. So I, I just tell him to do it himself because otherwise it might be a bit painful for the, for the person if you do it. So I say, Nick, can you, can you bring your little finger up to a right angle? Okay. You can also do this on the, on the kitchen bench with that part supported. Okay. So we can clearly see here, so a right angle would be a little bit straighter up here. Okay. So it's not quite a right angle. So that's a score of zero. Okay. Do you want to show me on your other hand? Okay, so we're just looking at this angle here, okay? So it's not quite up straight, so that would be a score of zero. Cool. All right, test on I'll have a go. Okay, so I hold my yourself. arm like this, okay? So from there, you can see, yep. Yeah, not quite, so it's a little bit off. Almost 90. Yep. But it's closer. Yep, okay. So, so that's a zero. a zero. Okay, this and this side. side. Unless again, yep. again, 90 would be about there. Yep. So again, zero. Zero, so we're both four yeah, zeros. Okay, yeah. four zeros. All right, so the next thing we're gonna test is our thumbs, okay? So the best way to test this, I just um, tell my little person at home is if you can squeeze something next to you, just to help to keep that elbow down, you can get an accurate reading. Now, could you see if you could get your thumb to your arm, keeping your fingers down, okay? So if this, if this touched here, the thumb touched the arm, that would be a score of one. Okay, so Nick clearly got a one there. <laughs> Okay, other side. All right, so it's a little bit more flexible on this side, but that's still not a one. Okay. Good. Try on okay. Right. So again, elbow tucked. Okay. Yeah. So again, not touching. Zero. Zero. Okay. Side. Again, not touching. Zero. All right, so we're all zeros for the hand all so even. far. All right. The next joint we're going to test is the elbow. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to say to Nick, so I'm just going to support underneath the upper part of the arm, so just above the knobbly bit, the elbow. And now what I'm going to do, not holding his hand, I'm going to just see if I can hold here. And if I can move this part of his body down beyond that neutral position of zero, okay, so if, it, if it's going down more than a centimetre or two, and it feels quite springy, then that's hypermobility, okay? All right, so that's a score of one. So it's going down beyond that yep. zero. Okay. To the other side. Okay, so holding underneath here and just putting my hand there. And you can see I, I could actually, I don't want to hurt him, but I could I could take that quite a bit further. Okay, so that's that's hypermobility in the elbows. Cool. All right, I've always had party trick elbows because I'm hypermobile. So this is a very hypermobile elbow. Yep. Or test it yourself. Okay. <laughs> and that, um, okay. straight. Thank you very much. You can see when we let go, it's already going further. We push gently further. It goes again. When I'm doing this, I'm getting almost no spring back mm. until right at the end. So you can see this part from here all the way to here is all additional mobility or extra flexible. Okay. So, so we're both a one. Both a one. Yeah. Relaxing. Down. Okay. On that side as well. Perfect. So we're both right. on two. We're both on two. Okay. Um, so while we're standing up, the next part we can test is um, can you touch your toes? So what we want to have is feet apart. We want to have straight knees. And then if you just walk your fingers down, what we want to do and see if we can touch our toes. Okay. So if the person can touch the floor, I'd say can you get your knuckles down? Can you get your palms down? We're keeping your legs straight. Okay. So I can do that and Nick's not quiet. So if I can get my palms down flat, that's a score of one. Okay, so I'm a one and you're definitely a zero. Definitely a zero, <laughs> almost a minus one. So that just, that just means I've got a lot of flexibility in my spine as well. Okay, 
Um, so the last thing we're going to test is our knees. Yep. Okay. So um, Nick, do you want to test me first? Yep. So if I just sit back and I make, if I'm up up tall, I'm going to have um, hamstrings on tension and it's not going to be accurate. Okay. So you just sort of tell your person to have a relax okay. down here or lay down. I'm just going to rest my hand on your thigh and lift this leg up and come up to here. And what you're looking for is a couple centimeters difference from the ground. So this one, this hand here, is just light pressure. You're just stabilizing. Up, you can see there's a couple centimeters between there. So that's a one. Same as this side. Yep, and again, it's just stabilizing through here. As we come up, a couple centimeters off, another one. Mm -hmm. So that's hypermobility in knees. In knees. Okay, and now let's have a look at your knees, Nick. So, and I just just get the person to relax, all right? So just, yeah, pressure down on the knee. So we're just looking for a couple of centimetres clearance from the heel coming up. And I can feel that's quite hard. It doesn't want to go any further, okay? So that's, that's a zero. And if I put my hand here, so you've got a little bit more flexibility in this mm. knee, but it's still, it's, it's still not hypermobile because it's not coming more than a sort of a couple of centimetres or more. Often it feels quite stiff, okay? The other thing you can do for knees is just to have a look at the, the people when they're standing up. Okay, so let's stand up. You just look at our knees from the side. When I stand with my legs straight and I straighten my knees, my knees bend backwards that little bit. So that's just a sign already that you could look for to see if someone has hypermobility um, in their limbs. Um, so we're going to post a lot more videos on what hypermobility means and what the scores mean for the baton. But that's basically how you can do the baton at home and work out what your score is. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.